The cycle brand is proud of the 5,000 year old heritage of our nation and has centered the company's mission and vision around the same. The cycle heritage quiz is an endeavor in educating the future of India on our glorious past, our incredible architecture, our diverse culture, the great works of our literary legends and artists, the courage of our warriors and freedom fighters, the rich contributions of our scientists, and many more aspects which make India a truly great nation. We now have the final for the Pune cluster, where participants from across Maharashtra have taken part. We now have the final for the Pune cluster, where participants from across Maharashtra have taken part. First up, we have Ananya Munde from the Bhal Gurukul School. Welcome, Ananya. Thank you, sir. And Ananya, tell me, how was your experience in playing the prelim rounds of the Cycle Heritage Quiz? Uh, it was a very great experience and uh, there were very wide variety of questions and I like the questions, especially which were based on our cult uh, culture and heritage. And it was a really great learning about our culture, even though I got it some wrong, but it was great learning new things. Very good, Ananya. All the very best today. Thank you, sir. Second participant for today is Saria Chaudhary from the Anglo-Urdu Girls High School. Uh, welcome, Saria. Hello. And Saria, tell me, uh, how did you feel when you got to know that you have qualified for the Cycle Heritage Quiz Cluster Final? Well, uh, good. Great. Very good, Saria. And all the best today. And our next contestant is Tanushri Jha from the Bhal Gurukul School. Hello, Hello sir. Hello, sir. And Tanushri, tell me, uh, what is your favorite uh, heritage monument in India? It's Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. And have you visited Taj Mahal? No. Oh, not yet? Okay. I hope you get to go there very soon. It's a lovely monument and of course a pride of India. So congratulations, Tanushri, for making it this far and all the best today. Thank you, sir. Next, we have uh, from the Pal Gurkul School again, uh, participant number four, and that is Sneha Jha. Hi, Welcome, hello. Sneha. Thank you. And Sneha, tell us a fact that we learned uh, from playing the prelims of the Cycle Heritage Quiz. So the prelims, my experience for the prelims was very great, especially the third preliminary round. Uh, like the that was basically regional questions. So um, I felt very easy to answer those questions. Okay, great, great, great. So you are confident of doing well today? Yeah, pretty well I can do. Okay, all the very best, Sneha. Uh, up next, we have from the Chate School in uh, Aurangabad, uh, we have Dattaraj Dhatbale. Uh, Hello, welcome, sir. Dattaraj. Thank you. And uh, Dattaraj, uh, tell us about your favorite uh, heritage location in your city. Sir, in my city, uh, there's uh, Ajanta Caves. So, mm -hmm. these okay. need to be carved out of uh, one stone, one single stone. And it is the only structure in the whole world uh, which has carved out of only one stone. So that's okay. the thing about my city. Great, fantastic. I think Aurangabad has a lot of uh, historical monuments, a lot of monuments of national importance also. So yes. be proud to be part of that city and all the very best for today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Last but not the least, we have from the Anglo-Urdu Girls High School, uh, we have Monisha Nawal Sheikh. Uh, welcome, Monisha. Thank you, sir. Hello. And Monisha, confident of doing well today? Um, yeah, a little bit. Okay, great. Uh, all the very best to all of you. Those were your six participants for the Pune Cluster Final. And we are now all set to start off with round number one. Round number one is called Lakshabheda. In Lakshabheda, let's take a look at the rules. One question per participant. This is a non-passable round. Each question has four options. Each participant gets three attempts, plus 15 if you get the correct answer in the first attempt, plus 10 if you get the correct answer in your second attempt, and plus five if you get the correct answer in your third attempt. First up is contestant number one, and that is Ananya. Okay, Ananya, your question coming up now. Covering over 4,000 kilometers in over 80 hours with 55 station stops en route, which train from Dibrugarh to Kanyakumari makes Eng India's longest rail journey? 
Is it A, Vande Bharat Express, B, Koromandal Express, C, Mahamana Express, or D, Vivek Express? So I think it's A, Vande Bharat Express. Okay, let's click on A, Vande Bharat Express. That's the wrong answer. Uh, you have two more attempts. Uh, is it C, Mahamana Express? Okay, let's click on C, Mahamana Express. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. Your next try. Um, Koromandal Express. B. Okay, let's click on B, Coromandel Express. I'm sorry, Ananya, this is the Vivek Express. Uh, there are several Vivek Expresses in India, but this one particularly from Dibrugarh to Kanyakumari is India's longest rail route. Okay. Sorry, no points for you, Ananya, but uh, lots more questions to go. I'm sure we'll see you on the scoreboard. Uh, second participant is Sarya. Yes, sir. Sarya, your question coming up now. The Global Vipassana Pagoda in Mumbai, the largest pillarless stone dome on earth, was designed as a replica of the Shwedagon Pagoda in which country? Is it A, Thailand, B, Cambodia, C, Myanmar, or D, Indonesia? D. Okay, let's click on D, Indonesia. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. You have two more attempts. A, Thailand. Okay, let's click on A, Thailand. I'm sorry, that's also the wrong answer. You have your one last attempt now. C. Okay, let's click on C, Myanmar. That is correct, Sarya. Well done. Uh, you open your account with five points. We'll now move on to contestant number three, and that is Tanushri. Okay, Tanushri, uh, question number three coming up for you. Who cursed Lord Krishna after the Kurukshetra war, saying that his entire clan, the Yadavas, would be destroyed in 36 years? Is it A, Kunti, B, Gandhari, C, Draupadi, or D, Uttara? Is it C. Okay, let's click on C. Draupadi. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. Your next attempt. Gandhari. Let's click on B. Gandhari. And Gandhari is the correct answer. Well done. Uh, 10 points to you, Tanushree. Good start. We will now move on to our next contestant. That is Sneha. Sneha, your question on stream now. On 10th November 1659, the Maratha forces under Chhatrapati Shivaji defeated the Adil Shahi forces under General Azam Khan in a battle at which fort? Is it A. Lohagad, B. Raigad, C. Pratapgad, or D. Dolatabad? So is it C. Pratapgad? Okay, let's click on C. Pratapgad. Very good, Sneha. Great start. 15 points to you. Now let's move on to participant number 5, that is Dattaraj. Okay, Dattaraj, uh, here is your question on screen now. Which city did Abul Fazal in Aini Akbari call the chief seat of learning in Hindustan to which crowds of people flock from the most distant parts for the purpose of instruction? Is it A, Varanasi, B, Lucknow, C, Kanpur, or D, Agra? Sir, uh, let's we go with uh, option C, Kanpur. Okay, let's click on C, Kanpur. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. Your next attempt? Sir, D, Agra. Okay, let's click on D, Agra. It's also the wrong answer. Your last attempt. B, Lucknow. Let's click on B, Lucknow. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. It's A, Varanasi. Varanasi was known as a seat of learning. So no points to you. Unfortunately, uh, Dattaraj, uh, we have to move on to our sixth contestant, and that is Monisha. Monisha, your question. From 1921, Senapati Bapat, led a three years protest against the construction of which dam by the Tatars? Is it A, Sardar Sarovar Dam, B, Satpura Dam, C, Hirakut Dam, or D, Mulshi Dam? Let's go with option A, Sardar Sarovar Dam. Okay, let's take on option A, Sardar Sarovar Dam. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. Your next try, please. Um, option D, Mulshi Dam. Okay, let's take on D, Mulshi Dam. Well done. That's the correct answer, Munisha. 10 points to you. And with that, we come to the end of round number one. Round number two is called Jigyasa. Let's take a look at the rules. One direct question per participant. This round passes clockwise. Plus 10 for every correct answer, direct or on pass. Once again, the first question will be for Ananya. Ananya, your direct question is going to come up now. The Arabs took it from India and called it Sifar. In Latin, it was called Zephira. What is it? So, uh, is it saffron? Not saffron. Uh, 
We'll pass on to contestant number two. Yes, passing on to Sarya. Sarya, any answers? No. Okay. Pass on to contestant number three, and that is uh, Tanushree. Sir, is it coffee? Not coffee. Pass on to contestant four, and that is Neha. Uh, must be uh, tea. Not tea. Uh, we will pass on to contestant 5 and that is Tattaraj. Sir, is it silk? Not silk. Uh, we will pass on to Muni. Yes, yes sir, I don't know the answer. Okay. Uh, Sifar is Arabic for zero. And of course, the zero was developed by Aryabhatta and the Arabs took it from India. So zero is what I was looking for. Tricky question here, but I expected someone to crack it. The next direct question is for Sarya. Yes, Sarya, your question. After what major happening did Jawaharlal Nehru say, the glory has departed and the sun that warmed and brightened our lives has set and we shiver in the cold and dark? I don't know. Okay. Uh, passing on to contestant three and that is Sanushri. Is it Gandhi? What about death, Gandhi? Death of Gandhi. Death of Gandhi is what I was looking for. Absolutely correct. Well done, Tanushri. 10 points to you. Good scoring. And now we will move on to a direct question for you. Dr. William Gard, a scientist and official at the U.S. Department of Agriculture, is credited with coining this term. Nobel Peace Prize winner Norman Borlaug is credited with pioneering it worldwide. What initiative, hugely successful in India and known by a two-word name, is being talked about? Sir, is it Green Revolution? Great answer, Tanushi. Fantastic. It is indeed the Green Revolution. Quickly she answered and was confident. 10 more points to you, Tanushi. And we will move on to our next contestant. That is going to be Sneha. After what 1930 event did Rabindranath Tagore tell the Manchester Garden? For Europe, this is in fact a great moral defeat. Even though Asia is still physically weak and unable to protect herself from aggression, where her vital interests are menaced. Nevertheless, she can now afford to look down on Europe, where before she looked up. Okay? So this is about a 1930 event. Rabindranath Tagore said this in a report or in an article in the Manchester Garden. So we have to tell you, or you have to tell me, what event is Rabindranath Tagore talking about? Is it something related to sports? Nothing to do with sports. Uh, I'll have to pass you to Dattaraj. Yes, Dattaraj, go ahead. Okay, you have an answer? I want to pass. I want to pass. Okay, pass. Okay, uh, next we have Munisha. I pass. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to contestant number one. And that is Ananya. So, currently I don't think of an answer. Just think of anything. Okay, no problem. Uh, attempt everyone. There's no negative marking. So, be brave and attempt. Uh, okay, Sarya, do you have an answer? No. Okay. Uh, we'll pass on to contestant number three, and that is uh, Tanushree. No, sir, pass. Okay, passing. Uh, surprising. Uh, 1930, uh, first, the landmark event that happened in India in 1930 was the Dandi March. So, Rabindranath Tagore is talking about the Dandi March. So, I'm surprised no one got this one, but not to worry, uh, lots more questions to go. I'm sure lots more scoring to happen as well. Uh, next, we have Dattaraj. Dattaraj, your question coming up on screen now. From Rome to Moscow, the memoirs of an Olympic trap shooter is a book by which Indian sportsperson who was the first in his sport to win the Arjuna Award? Sir, is it anu uh, uh, Abhinav Bindra? Not Abhinav Bindra. Uh, we will pass on to Monisha. You can try. Okay, you don't have an answer. Okay, uh, we will pass on to Ananya. Uh, so, random guess. Is it Anjali Bhagat? Not Anjali Bhagat, but do try. No problem. Uh, we will pass on to contestant number two, and that is Sarya. No. Okay. Uh, we will pass on to contestant number three, and that is going to be Tanushree. No, sir, pass. Okay. Uh, attempt, attempt. Uh, next, we have uh, Sneha. Is it Karni Singh? It is Karni Singh. Well done. First Arjuna Award winner in shooting. Who else could it be? It is Karni Singh. 
who took part in five Olympics uh, in the Rome Olympics, 1960 was his first. Moscow Olympics, 1980 was his last. So very well done. Uh, absolutely correct answer, uh, Sneha. 10 more points to you. Next, we have the sixth question of this round, and that is going to be direct for Monisha. Monisha, your question. The site of this temple complex was called Seven Pagodas by various European travelers. The construction of this temple complex is primarily credited to King Narasimha Varman II. It gets its name because it overlooks the dash of the Bay of Bengal. Fill in the blanks with the name of the temple. So whatever fills in the blanks is also the name of the temple. So which temple am I talking about? No, sir. Okay. Uh, we will pass on to contestant number one, and that is Ananya. Go for it, Ananya. Yes, Ananya. Again, no idea. Okay. Uh, Sariya, please. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we will pass on to Tanushri. Sir, pass. Yeah. Passing. Okay. Uh, we will move on to contestant number four, and that is Neha. Uh, uh, is it uh, Mahabalipuram of the Bay of Bengal? What's the name of the temple? Like uh, That's the nickname, Mahabalipuram. I can't give it to you for just... Mahabalipuram, uh, we'll move on to Dattaraj. There is it Horizon. Okay, go try. You try to work out from the blank and uh, try and guess the name of the temple. But it's not called the Horizon Temple. Yes, Neha, it is in Mahabalipuram. But uh, can't give it to you for that. The name of the temple is Short Temple. Okay? Short Temple in Mahabalipuram, very, very famous. Uh, do read up on it. Uh, no points for anyone. With that, we come to the end of round number two. It's time to take a look at the scores. The scores after round number two are as follows. Right now, Ananya yet to open her account. Uh, we have Sarya on five. Tanushri is in the lead with 30 points, followed very closely by Sneha on 25 points. Uh, we have Dattaraj yet to open his account. And Monisha is on 10. Okay. Two more rounds to go. So lots can happen. The top two from here will qualify for our national quarter. Let's move on to round number three. And that is called Rishank. The rules for Trishanku are as follows. One question per participant. This round does not pass. Three clues leading to something or someone. Plus 15 for getting it in the first attempt. Plus 10 for the second attempt. And plus 5 for the third attempt. We'll start off this time with contestant 6. And that is Monisha. An island known as Char Chinar is located on this lake. Can't hear you? Can you Can I a clue? Next clue. Okay, let's move on to next clue. This lake has a floating garden known as Rad in Kashmiri that blossom with lotus flowers during July and August. Is it Lok Lok? No, that's not the right answer. Your last clue. This lake in Srinagar is called the jewel in the crown of Kashmir. Lotuk? No, I think you are going with Loktak Lake, but it's not the Loktak Lake. Uh, this is the Dal Lake, which is probably the most famous lake in Kashmir. No points, unfortunately, for you, uh, Monisha, but we'll now move on to contestant number five, and that is Dattaraj. Dattaraj, here is your first look. Mahatma Gandhi gave this famous social worker, born in Hinganghat, Maharashtra, the name Abhay Sadat. Sir, uh, sir, is it uh, Vinoba Bhave? Not Vinoba Bhave, but that's a good guess. Let's move on to the next look. In 1985, he started a walk from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, Traversing a distance of 5,042 kilometers with 100 men and 16 women, all under 35, to promote unity in the nation. Sir, can I also get the third clue as well? Sir, can I get the next clue? Okay, let's move on to the last clue. In 1949, he and his wife Sadhna founded Anandvan, an ashram dedicated to the treatment, rehabilitation and empowerment of leprosy patients. Sir, is it uh, Baba Amte? Of course, it is Baba Amte, founder of Anand One. Good answer there. Tataraj gets five points. We'll move on to our next contestant, and that is going to be Sneha. Sneha, here is your first clue. This ruler of the Sodia dynasty ruled from 1572 to 1597. So, may I have the next clue? Next clue coming up. He was the son of Uday Singh II of Mewar. Um, is it uh, Rana Pratap? It is Rana Pratap. Absolutely correct. Uh, son of Uday Singh 2 is Rana Pratap. Uh, well done, Sneha. 10 points to you. And now we'll have the next question. And that is going to be for Tanushree. 
Tanushree, here is your first look. The Ahmednagar Sultan Bahadur Nizam Shah gave Maloji Bhosle the charge of this fort. Sir, next clue, please. Next clue, okay. Inside the fort, there is a small temple dedicated to Shivai Devi, after whom a famous ruler is named. Next clue. Last clue, Kanga. The fort is recognized as the birthplace of Chhatrapati Shivaji. Is it Raigar? Not Raigar. This is the Shivneri fort. Shivneri fort is recognized as the birthplace of Chhatrapati Shivaji. I'm sorry, Tanushri, no points to you. Uh, we will move on to contestant number two, and that is Sarya. Sarya, your first look. This character from the Mahabharata is seen as a partial incarnation of Bhaspati, guru of the gods. So next clue. Okay, let's move on to the next clue. He was the son of sage Bharadwaja and a disciple of Lord Parashurama. Sir, so next clue. Okay, last clue. The sports coaching honor of the Republic of India is named after him. Sir, so say again. The sports coaching honor of the Republic of India is named after him. Indian River? No, it's the Dronacharya. Uh, it's a person that I was looking for, mythological character. It is Dronacharya. I'm sorry, uh, Sarya. Uh, the Dronacharya Award is, of course, given to the top coaches in India. And there are some people who have won the Arjuna Award and Dronacharya Award both, like Bulela Kopichan. Uh, no points for you, Sarya. We'll move on to contestant number one, and that is Ananya. Ananya, your first look coming up now. This city in Maharashtra was considered to be spread over 16 villages. Um, sir, can I get the next clue? Next clue coming up. This city is home to the Sri Siddheshwar Temple. Sir, uh, next clue. Last clue coming up. The Teddy Towel and Chadar associated with this city in Maharashtra have received a geographical indication tag. Kolhapur. Not Kolhapur. 16 villages should have given you the answer. 16 is Sola and the answer is Solapur, not Kolhapur, no points for you, Ananya. With that, we come to the end of round number three. And so the scores after round number three are as follows. Right now, Ananya yet to open her account. Uh, we have Sarya on five. Uh, Tanushri is on 30. Sneha has moved into the lead. Uh, she's on 35. Dattaraj is on the scoreboard. Uh, he's got five points. And we have Monisha on 10 points. Uh, we have one last round to go. And the last round is called Divya Drishti. In Divya Drishti, let's take a look at the rules. One direct question per participant, all based on visuals. Passes anti-clockwise, plus 10 for every correct answer, direct or on pass. This time, we will start with contestant six, that is Monisha. Monisha, your visual coming up now. Okay. Just take a look at this visual very carefully. This visual shows Chhatrapati Shivaji in the court of which emperor, okay? The emperor is seated there on the throne, okay? Shivaji is saying something to that emperor. So which emperor is this? Agar. Agar. Okay. Uh, we will pass on to contestant number five, and that is Dattaraj. Sir, uh, is it Aurangzeb? Yes, of course. Shivaji and Aurangzeb, there are lots of tales about the clashes, the confrontations between both of them. Absolutely correct, Dattaraj. You get 10 points for answering Aurangzeb. And now you have a chance to get 10 more points because the next question is for you. Dattaraj, uh, my question to you is, which place in Maharashtra has got a geographical indication tag for this food? Sir, it is Mahabaleshwar. Mahabaleshwar strawberries. He was confident when he saw the visual Absolutely correct, Dattaraj, 10 points. And now you have a real chance to qualify for the national quarterfinals. Let's see. Let's move on to participant number four, and that is Sneha. Sneha, your question coming up now. Okay, Sneha, look at this visual very carefully and tell me which city derives its name from this incident. This is an incident from mythology. So which city derives its name from this incident. I can say it's uh, Lakshman and Surpanaka. So what is the city? 
maybe Lucknow. Not Lucknow. Good try though. Uh, we will pass on to contestant three, and that is going to be Tanushri. Sir, is it Nashik? Yes, absolutely. Lakshman cutting the nose of Surpanakha, and that is Nashik. Very good answer there, Tanushri, and that thing's a very crucial answer, in fact, for you. Ten more points, and now the direct question is going to come to you, Tanushri. Tanushri, uh, here's your question. Tanushri, what you have to do is name this couple associated with the field of education. Even if you give the surname, it's fine. Sir, is it Phule? Phule is right. Absolutely correct. Jyotira Phule and Savitri Phule. Absolutely correct. The great educators. That was a simple one and you took advantage of it. 10 points to you, Tanushri. I think now you are looking very good on the scoreboard. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is going to be for participant two. And that is Sarya. This is a famous clock tower in Mumbai. Okay. This is opposite a famous university campus. Okay. So which university campus am I talking about? Sarya, do you have an answer? Can you try? No, sir. Okay. Okay, we will pass on uh, this question and pass on to contestant six right now, and that is Monisha. So basically, this is a famous clock tower opposite a uh, university campus. Okay, just name which university? Raja. <laughs> no, but good that you attempted. Uh, passing on to contestant five, and that is Dattaraj. Sir, I can't wrap my head around it, so I'll get a silly guess. Ferguson College? Not Ferguson College. Nice guess, though. Uh, we will move on to contestant four, and that is Sneha. You asked about uh, the university. It's Mumbai University, and the tower is uh, Rajabai Tower. Both are correct. Absolutely. Well done, Sneha. Uh, Ten points to you. We now are done with three rounds and five questions. We have one more question to go. But before that, we need to take a look at the scoreboard. The scores after round number three and five questions of round number four are as follows. We have uh, Ananya yet to open her account. One more question to go. Uh, we have uh, Sarya on five points. Tanushri has hit a half century. Well done, Tanushri. You're on 50 points. Uh, Sneha answered the last question correctly, and she's on 45 points. Dattaraj, very brave effort. Uh, you got two answers correct uh, in the last round. You're on 25. Uh, Monisha is on 10. So the top two spots are pretty clear as we move on to our last question. Okay, uh, last question is a direct one for Ananya. Ananya, your visual coming up now. Okay, Ananya, you just have to tell me this is a statue of whom? He's a judge. He's a famous judge. So is it the Lokhitwadi? Uh, Don't want any nicknames here. Just want his actual name. So I'm. Uh, I can't uh, remember his name. Recollect his name. All right. Uh, we'll move on to contestant number six, and that is uh, Monisha. Mahadev Govind. Okay, I'll give it to you. Mahadev Govind Ranade is what I was looking for. Well done, Monisha. You end the quiz on a good note. You scored 10 more points. That we come to the end of the Pune Cluster Final at the Cycle Heritage Quiz 2022. So after four rounds, here are final scores. Great effort, Monisha. Answering the last question, you end on 20 points. Dattaraj, brave effort in the last round. You answered two questions and you end on third spot today. You get 25 points. Ananna, feel proud that you made it this far. It's a great achievement to qualify among so many students for the Pune Cluster Final. You didn't get to score today, but I'm sure you'll do very well. You'll learn from this and do very well in upcoming quizzes. Uh, Sarya, same to you. Uh, you also did really well to come this far. You scored five points today. Uh, Tamin, second and qualifying for our national quarterfinal is from the Bhal Gurukul School, Sneha Jha. Congratulations, Sneha. She scored 45 points. Congratulations, Sneha. You'll be representing you. the cluster in the national quarterfinal. Thank you, sir. And winning this quiz, hitting a half century today, is Tanushri Jha from the Bhal Gurukul School. You win today's quiz with 50 points. Congratulations, Tanushri. You have qualified for our national quarterfinal. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So well done to all of you.
The Pune cluster final at the Cycle Heritage Quiz 2022 was a mix of tricky questions, easy one, some great cracks by the participants. And leading from start to finish was actually Tanushri, uh, who had a great start. There was a little slump in between in the third round, but again, she made up in the last round and scored a half century to win today's quiz. Uh, Sneha, again, was close on Tanushri's heels. She just finished five points behind to come second. Uh, Tattaraj came back for a little while, was inching closer to the second spot, but unfortunately did not get any more opportunities after that. He came third. Uh, Ananya, Monisha, Saria, especially Monisha, answered the last question, put in a brave effort. Again, all of them can feel very proud that they have qualified among so many students in the Pune cluster. So well done to our national quarterfinalists, Tanushri and Sneha. Commiserations to Dattaraj, Monisha, Ananya and Sadi. This was the Pune cluster final. We'll see you again in another cluster final of the Cycle Heritage Quiz 2022. Till we meet again, stay safe, stay happy, stay curious.